ดีครับวัดดีสิโอเนนวัดดีสิโอเนนอาชีว้าวยินดีที่ได้รู้จักขอบคุณครับขอบคุณมากครับเราดีชื่อว่า my name is Ma my name is Gayu my name is Min Min nice to meet you my name is Luke have a nice day bye 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 hello สวัสดีครับ I hope I see myself on Google Maps. That would be a dream come true. Today might be my lucky day. I'm actually a big contributor to Google Maps, so it actually would make my day. This is Wat Arun, arguably Thailand's most recognizable landmarks. Let me tell you all about Wat Arun. I'm not sure if you can notice on the video, but a common architectural feature of uh, temples is that the the walls are actually slanted inward a little bit from the base to the top and it's to give that feeling of uh, the temple is reaching to the heavens it's really really beautiful here amazing place <laughs> temple from a distance I always thought that it was like a, a really quite bland color gray but actually it's uh, really colorful like coming up here and look being this close to it I've never realized how much how many beautiful colors were were involved in this what it's um, faded over the time but it's still much color more colorful than I imagined from the other side of the river Wat Run has been around since the time of Ayutthaya, the Ayutthaya Kingdom. And back when it was originally built, it was called Wat Makok. The name, however, was changed by Taksin. Taksin changed its name to Wat Chang, and that was in 1767. Following the fall of Ayutthaya, it was believed that King Taksin, who wasn't king at the time, uh, sailed past this temple and vowed, he sailed past it at dawn and he saw how beautiful it was that he vowed to restore it. At one point in time, the Emerald Buddha was actually enshrined here. And that's a whole other story for another video. Uh, the, how the, the importance of the Emerald Buddha in Thai history. So during King Taksin's time, this was indeed on the grounds of the Royal Palace. Uh, it was when King Rama I 
re-establish the capital over the other side of the river at Ratnakosin, that this was no longer the royal palace grounds and this became open to the public once again. This is indeed my first time visiting Wat Arun. I'm really impressed. If you haven't been so far, I'd thoroughly recommend it. If you're a visitor to Bangkok, I'd recommend paying a visit to Wat Arun. It's really, really marvellous place. Wat Arun means Temple of Dawn. And then Temple derives its name from the Hindu god of Aruna. So the significance of the name the temple personifies the radiations of the rising sun. Now, one of the best ways to enjoy and appreciate what a rune is in fact sunrise or the sunset. So the sunset, you can be on the other side of the Chao Praya River and watch the sun set uh, over the, behind the magnificent Wat Arun. It's really a, a sight to behold. It's a magnificent way to, to spend an afternoon. In fact, I might do that today. Actually, another way to enjoy, so watching the sunset uh, over the, behind Wat Arun is a magical experience, but actually Wat Arun also at night is a marvelous, marvelous experience, a sight to behold as well. Uh, they light it up, it's beautiful lights and different times of the year as well. They'll, they'll light it up in different colours as well. Uh, so beautiful sight, really is. So I'm standing in Wat Arun at the moment and just over there is Tonburi Palace. So that was the residence and that's where King Taksin built his uh, royal palace. Now the reason he chose this site uh, is because when he was crowned king, he didn't want to return to Ayutthaya. The main reason he wanted, didn't want to return there, well one of the reasons was first and foremost that it was, it was ruined. The uh, Burmese army just destroyed the place. Uh, for him to go back to Ayutthaya would take a lot of manpower to try and repair and restore uh, the destroyed uh, uh, royal palace and, and city there. Um, but he also believed uh, the Burmese army actually had a good understanding of Ayutthaya. So if he was to return there, he'd be quite vulnerable to more attacks. So that was one of the reasons he decided to rebuild the royal palace here and, and make uh, Tonburi the capital, capital of Siam. Uh, now another reason he chose Ayutthaya as well was when after the Burmese war, after the Burmese uh, uh, conquered Ayutthaya, uh, Thailand and the kingdom was in uh, disarray. In fact, there were, it kind of split into six main uh, groups and they were the six groups were ruled by warlords uh, who survived the the Burmese attack, and Taksin was one of these one of these rulers. So he decided that he was to build his capital here in Tonburi because uh, Chao Praya River was one of the main supply lines. So if there was any 
any uh, any any other groups that wanted to start upstream, they would have to pass Tonbury to get weapons. So he could cut the supply off here at Tonbury. So he wouldn't. So nobody in the north would be able to grow uh, more powerful and increase their stock of weapons. The Royal Navy has actually moved in and they operate the the grounds and all the buildings that are in Tonbury Palace. Uh, Tonbury Palace is now closed, so I can't actually get in there. But Tonbury Palace, uh, that was the where King Taxon built his kingdom, and there's also a shrine in there, King, King Taxon Shrine, which we can't get to, but I can look over the fence. visiting here be careful with the steps they're pretty steep they'll be all wobbly knees going my old knees can't handle these steps <laughs> back to the story of Taxon uh, he began uh, we, we pick up the story when he started to show signs of insanity uh, so basically what it's what started to happen was he believed that he had entered the one of the earliest stages of enlightenment so there's four stages of enlightenment and it's called a stream of enlightenment enlightenment so he has he claimed that he had entered the what's it what was it called sotapanna he he claimed that he had entered the sotapanna stage of enlightenment which is one, the first of four stages now because of this he demanded that the other monks uh, bowed to him uh, and those who didn't were flogged or sent to a labor camps. It's important to note that some historians actually believe that this, the claim that Taxon became insane was just a story. It was a story uh, brewed up so as to overthrow the king and provide a reason for him to be executed. However, this is a theory. There are lots of, uh, lots of other accounts to say that he had indeed uh, become he had shown a lot of signs of insanity uh, particularly uh, the, 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 the phrase religious fanatic is often used to describe Taxon uh, just before he was overthrown uh, so much so that he actually even had his own family his sons the heir apparent thrown into prison for not worshipping him uh, there was also some Vietnamese who were thrown into prison two important generals were imprisoned. This actually struck up a friendship and a camaraderie with, with uh, these Vietnamese generals uh, and the two uh, Intratropic inter, inter, inter and the Vietnamese generals, because they were in prison together they built up a camaraderie and swore to help each other if there was ever a need and that need was just around the corner. In 1788 Cambodia decided to switch their allegiance from Thailand to Vietnam. As a result, Taksin decided to annex Cambodia. So he sent an army of 20,000 to Cambodia. And this army of 20,000 was led by Chao Praya Chakri, who was later to become the King Rama I. And once they conquered Cambodia, Intraprit, oh, that doesn't sound right. Intrapitak, Intrapitak, the sun was crowned ruler of Cambodia. So while this was occurring in Cambodia, a rebel group staged a coup d'etat and overthrew King Taksin. The king surrendered without resistance and this all occurred in 1872. So when, when, the, when King Taxon was overthrown, he made a request to the rebels that he, be, he could enter the monkhood at Wat Arun, which is where we are right now. His request was rejected. So then the scenes in the city of Tonbury took a turn for the worst. Uh, chaos broke out, there was lots of uh, looting, lots of riots, and it was, chaos was brewing. Because the city was in chaos, and there was looting and killing. Chao Praya Chakri grew concerned that this would be an opportunity for the Vietnamese to attack. So he promptly returned from Cambodia and quickly returned back here to Bangkok, to Tonbury. When Chao Praya Chakri returned, he quickly 
overthrew the rebel group that seized control and restored peace quite promptly. He then had demanded the execution of King Taksin. The reason Chao Praya Chakri uh, decided to put Taksin to death because he thought that the king acted imp improperly and unjustly and he caused great pain to the people. It's been reported that Taksin actually asked for an audience with Chao Praya Chakri, but the audience was turned, was the, the request was rejected. Taksin was beheaded on Wednesday, April the 10th, 1782. General Chalpreya Chakri seized control of the capital and declared himself king. He was to become Rama number one, King Rama the first. And his dynasty is called the Chakri dynasty, which is still in place today. So Taksin's son, heir apparent, so Taksin's son, Intra Pritak was in Cambodia, so he promptly returned. When he returned, his plan was to seize control of the throne. However, not many people supported him. And when he returned, he was captured by Surasi and was sentenced to death in Tonbury. Alternative accounts states that Taxon was ordered to be executed in the traditional Siamese way by General Chao Praya Chakri. And that method of the time was, to be, was said to be uh, that King Taxon was placed in a velvet sack and beaten to death with sandalwood sticks. Another account was that Taxon was actually snuck out of the capital and went to a mountain retreat. And the theory is that he lived there in secret until 1825 and that there was a substitute actually placed in the velvet sack however the Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese account of the the event was that he indeed was executed in a public place with public in the view of the public another theory was that because King Taxon had Chinese heritage this put his legitimacy uh, the monarchy in jeopardy and that is actually the reason why Chao Praya Chakri had Taksin assassinated, had him killed. So he could then become the rightful and legitimate king. Moreover, Taksin, the style of leadership that Taksin employed was a decentralized kind of leadership uh, and this was not, was not fancied by Chao Praya Chakri at the time. He wanted, he liked the old style leadership. Another theory was also that uh, the Chinese influence was growing too strong here. Uh, and this is another reason why Taksin had to be overthrown. However, interestingly enough, uh, Chao Praya Chakri, uh, it's believed that he also has some Chinese heritage as well, uh, which throws that uh, claim up in the air. And one last theory as to why Taksun was uh, executed was one theory is that he owed millions of baht to the Chinese. And it was in, actually the Chinese emperor who demanded his death to settle the debts. Here comes one of those barges, or several barges, pulled by the tugboat, which is now full of sand and gravel. And you can see the sides, uh, how deep, how deep and how heavy the boat actually is, and where the water line is compared to the, uh, the video footage I took earlier of the barges. What Arun, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's a May, it's a fantastic place to visit. If you get the chance, be sure to check out what Arun, it will be well worth your trouble.